Namaskar friends. Today we will see how the diseases are progressing. We will see them today. See, some people are at knee deep water, some are at the waist deep water, some are up to the chin deep water. That means what? They are at various levels of insulin resistance. 90% of the urban population are insulin resistant. We all know the reasons. 10 bad habits, 10 wrong habits, 10 abuses every day we do. We talked about those things. That is the result of all this, uh, you know, severe insulin resistance. See, let's, friends, there are, uh, what is the insulin resistance? You can do it by doing fasting glucose multiplied by fasting insulin divided by 405. The value should be below 1.5. Most of the time, we don't get fasting insulin, so we have no idea. What is the ideal? Ideal fasting glucose is below 90. HbA1c is below 5%. Fasting insulin is 3 to 6 uh, UML. Insulin resistance, when you calculate that, it will be below 1.5. If you are below 1.5, means you are fully insulin sensitive. Insulin sensitive is a clear indication of health and immunity. There are seven stages of insulin resistance, friends. And similarly, lifestyle diseases progression. Say, friends, when you are starting a train journey from Chennai to Hyderabad, first will come Guduru, then Nelluru, then Vongol, then Vijayawada, then Khammam, then Kajipet, and Hyderabad. Similarly, people get the problems, but they don't realize. They realize at a later stage. Let's look at stage one. That means mild insulin resistance. See, during the mild insulin resistance, friends, fasting glucose will be below 99. HbA1c also below 5.6%. So he's not diabetic at all. But their fasting insulin is definitely above 7. Above 7 means it could be 10, 15, 20. We don't know. So that is the fasting insulin resistance. Stage 1. Stage 2, moderate. Same thing. Fasting glucose is normal, HbA1c is normal. So people think I have no problem, but insulin like fasting insulin is high, above 7. Then uh, stage 3, insulin resistance severe. That means the value of fasting glucose multiplied by fasting insulin is above 5. Again, here also fasting is above 7. It could be again 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. We don't know. At the end of the day, this is what it is. So in this country, some cases, what happens, friends, when you are checking your fasting glucose, it could be around 90, 92. But whereas your PP sugar, after the two hours of eating, it will be below than the fasting glucose, which is not supposed to be. It will be maybe 80 or 85. That means what? You have tons of insulin in the body, which is causing you PP sugar low. Few symptoms until stage 3. See, until the stage 3, people have frequent hunger. People may have belly fat obesity, fatty liver, cardiovascular diseases, PCOS, thyroid, BP, etc. But no sugar. When they check their fasting sugar is normal, HbA1c is below 5.6%. So this is a very misleading uh, you know, activity, friends. That means we are in trouble, but it is not vis visible outside. Now the stage 4. What is stage 4? Insulin resistance could be above 5. Or it could be 2, 3 also. We don't know. But there is Guys, are far, there are pre-diabetes. That means what? Their HbA1c has slightly gone up beyond 5.7%. But I have also seen some cases, friends, their fasting glucose is below 125. It could be 100, it could be 90, 80 also. So again, if people are checking only fasting glucose, they don't check uh, HbA1c, they think they're all right. So this may take from stage 1 to stage 4. Sometimes for people it takes 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I've seen people, friend, people are overweight. They have already cardiovascular problems, high triglycerides, high uh, lipids and all that. They've already gone for stents, but their sugar levels are normal. So we're all under wrong notion. What is stage 5? Stage 5 is diabetes. HbA1c is above 6.5%. Here, very clear, friend. The fasting glucose is definitely above 125, 126. HbA1c is above 6.5%. If you check their insulin, it will be definitely higher, above 7 only. But the question is, by the time stage 5, it has taken 5, 10, 15 years, friend. By the time you come to stage 5, your pancreas must have you know, lost its capability more than 20, 30, 40%. So this is until stage 4, it's very easy. Within three to four months, you can become insulin sensitive. You can lose weight. You can improve your lipids. You can get rid of your PCOD problem. You can get rid of your belly fat and all that. Friend, be aware and awake. Until stage four, it's very, very easy. Three to four months of your discipline is required. Stage five, difficult. We don't know. Many times people don't check their uh, HbA1c. They say, oh, I checked it today. I've got a diabetes. 
Maybe he has not checked last two years. Maybe diabetic for last two years. We don't know. I've seen recently a guy who was HB1 is 10%. He says he has never checked. So friends, very, very essential to check. Fasting course, fasting insulin, very, very important. HB1C, very important. What is stage six? This is insulin is severe diabetes. That means the sugar levels are beyond 200. Fasting insulin, sometimes it could be lower, sometimes it's less. We don't know. It all keeps varying. Even at this stage, if the pancreas is working all right, if there is PP insulin is better, maybe 30, 40 and all that after two hours, there's a possibility of their getting back, friends. If they're on medication for a long term, and then the damage is heavy. What is stage seven? Severe diabetes. That means what? These people require insulin. That means, I would know, a lot of times they don't check uh, how is their PP insulin and fasting insulin. So I feel the, at least some portion of the people are on a medication, which is probably not required. So once we analyze by checking your fasting insulin and PP insulin and see how is your pancreas working and make changes, that would make a huge difference, friend. I hope you have looked at the seven stages because until stage three, no symptoms. Some people have frequent hunger. Some people are belly fat, but sometimes no symptoms also. Sometimes there are symptoms are there. Even pre-diabetic people also, sometimes they don't have symptoms. Even diabetic patients, I've seen patients with HbA1c 10, 11%, they said no symptom. So friends, waiting for symptom means what? Your weight, water, flood water to come and touch your nose. So pay attention, friends. Friends, my name is Gangesh Shura. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. Uh, you must invest time to enhance your knowledge. Knowledge and discipline are the gateways to your health, friend. If anybody is interested, they can join my WhatsApp group and listen to my talks at my YouTube channel, Wellness Secrets YouTube channel. My mobile number is 9840852996. Thank you very much for listening and I appreciate your time.